Okay. That explosion didn't do jack doodly. Persistent swine! Stand still! There we go. Seriously, how many headcrabs are in this place? Some supplies there. Yeah, I think I'll, we're gonna get to that. Any reason why this thing spells Quake 2? Is this like a secret secret message there's going to be a mod for quake 2 we shall never never mind here comes the asset and plan literally the most hateful and plans in the entire episode 2 arsenal They are literally worse than the bull squids of Half-Life. Why? Because at least the bull squids in Half-Life 1, you can sort of uh, avoid. This one, you can't. What's... I wonder what's with the signs for this thing. EA Quake 2. Is this like a message? A secret hidden message that I should probably know? Uh, we shall never know. Do not be alarmed, ladies and gentlemen. Ignore the sudden change of environment sounds and heads up display. It's all just a part of being a remod playthrough. Anywho, now that we've gotten back our heart back. Allow me to explain first why I decided to replace it back to the Half-Life 2 one. So I, I decided to toy a little bit with the heads up display and found out that the weapon huts actually look better in Half-Life 2 settings at least. So well, I decided to revert back to it. Kind of fits too since this was supposed to be a Half-Life 3 kind of thing. So no more or orange thing. So allow me to show you a very interesting tidbit. We need to actually press this thing so that we can have the saying that we need a key card before the, that thing on the other side opens. And the thing when the other side opens this is a very interesting thing indeed. Yep, another one of these, ladies and gentlemen, another one of these. And just what do you think you are doing? You think you're clever just because you spot me? No, you're not. Stop that. Anywho, there is a bunch of ant lines with... What the hell are you doing? Asset ant lines. I'm just gonna say it right now. I hate these little buggers. Even worse too is the fact that the closure decide to overuse them. Oh, you think you got sick? The fact that the asset and lines constantly get reused? Well, guess what? They're gonna get reused again, 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 again. There's even a certain part in the mod where you fight nothing but as asset and lines. This is one of them. Yes, there's multiple parts. You get to do it again later on. And it gets really obnoxious. Even Leon acknowledged the amount of enemies here by putting ammo crates here and on the other side of the bloody corridor. Imagine that, huh? Come back here, you. Something that I sort of managed to notice as well is that the, these acid ant lines don't really take your health that much. They do take a lot of hits to take though, so still lots of danger.
Yeah, let the headcrabs deal with that. I'm not in the mood. Come here, you. More headcrabs. You know, I, I keep wondering what, what's about this place that is so enticing for headcrabs and antlions to live in. I mean, yeah, I guess headcrabs can kind of live here since they, I guess, their usual place of... Oh god, sorry, my sore throat is really hurts right now. Should have probably drink something back then. Anywho, this is a tease. There is a vent here. You can break the cover, but uh, yeah, blocked by this. Why not just have the vents un the vent cover unbreakable? What's the point? There are ways, you know, to show whether or not the vents are breakable or not. You know, like there's a couple of textures that actually do point out that this vent is unbreakable. You could try making the thing a different looking cover, though. Making it looking like the same vent covers as the other breakable ones make it seem like you can actually go through here. And at a certain point, I keep coming back here expecting a way to open up. But it didn't. And I was very disappointed. There we go. See, there is a lot of ammunition here. Three ammo crates. Three. One here and two there. At very close quarters. Says a lot, don't you think? Oh yeah, here's another one of those door needing a button thing. Absolutely no idea why half the doors in this mod decide to do that. Anyhow, keycard. Here comes the enemy spawning, you know what, I'm just gonna attempt to charge through and run away because it's completely pointless trying to fight them all. Run. Just run, they're not, they're not gonna stop coming. Run for it. Nope, I don't care. Sort of. Okay, that might have been a mistake. Come on. Get in there. There we go. Okay, come on. Let me through. Let me through. Immediately run through. Don't have the time to fight the combines. No siree. Just gonna skip on through. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, the textures here, actually most of them, I think, came from Doom 3. Lots of the textures here are very noticeably came from other games. Especially when the logos start showing up. The weirdest thing is that there's so much texture that can be found on the internet. I'm surprised that of all things, Leon decided to choose the Doom ones. because. Anyone who has ever played Doom, especially recently, can immediately tell. And you generally don't want to take... If you're going to take a resource from somebody else, try your best to not take it from games, just from mods. People are more, um, what's it called? Exposed, exposed to games more than they do with mods. In fact, some people don't actually know about mods at all. They could be playing Half-Life and uh, they keep waiting for Half-Life Episode 3, but they didn't realize that there is so much, and I mean so much, modification, custom levels, and such that can be found on various websites. And they live in complete ignorance not knowing this fact. And when the Half-Life thing finally came out that actually isn't very good, case in point prospect, people keep thinking that, oh, gee, people should be more thankful. I mean, it's not like any kind of Half-Life related thing have ever come out since now. And they didn't 
they didn't realize that there's a shitload of mods, maps, and such made in the community. Ignorant buffoons, they are. Ignorant buffoons. I am thankful, however, that Prospect is getting an update that the guy actually now wants to, like, improve it. It's always a fantastic... A fantastic gesture for a developer to continue updating their works even after it's finished and released. Unlike some developers... Dreadful people. Been thinking of getting that new Division game until I realize it's complete arse as I expected. I'm generally negative towards the AAA industry at this, at this time because everything that they put out has been complete utter bollocks. It's hard to stay positive and excited about things, you know. I mean, the only thing I'm excited about right now is for the remake of a game that already existed far long ago. You guys know System Shock 1, it's getting remade. Hopefully, the developers of the game actually cater to the fans of the original and are people who want to make it into a pseudo Call of Duty clone or make it like Bioshock I swear to god if they turn System Shock into Bioshock I'm gonna flip my shit Bioshock is a pretty good game I agree but it is inferior compared to System Shock in every way it even stole the plot twist from System Shock 2 okay you've been You've been working for someone else all this time and you didn't know about it. Boo freaking who? We've already gone that with Shodan and somehow we got it again with Atlas. And people praise Bioshock like, like it's the second coming of Ken Levine or something. Another on-site spawning, Leon. Fix that shit. It's getting really noticeable this, this, these times around. 